And we're off Inferno versus Oreo, the Mario Ditto. Inferno being the all-American uh, Mario. Oreo. <laughs> do they really exactly do that motion and then both fall into their fireball? This is really awkward considering that these, uh, bo both these little screens, because we have a previous screen and we have an actual screen, they're at different frame rates. This is kind of awkward. It's throwing me off. So I'm just going to watch yeah, the, yeah, just the that, source. That's just what I stick with. Yeah, Inferno knocking off the edge of the jab. Kind of one of Mario's best tools is actually his jab because it covers a lot of options. Uh, it kind of it does a fake two where if you hold shield too long, he goes one two and then into grab if you're not you know, very quick. And it just stops a lot of things. Like uh, just Mario is one of the few characters where every move of his is like viable as part of his move set. I think except for down tilt. But even I know people sometimes have some uses for down tilt like that. Oh my god! Like look at that! Like. The dare, and then like in the fake into F smash, it's ridiculous. Like all of these character smashes are completely perfect. Not really perfect, but like are they, they amazing. Come, they come out really fast and have pretty good hitboxes or priority. That up smash with armor, that forward smash with kill potential, and kind of like swings him back. The down smash with the really deceptive kill range on the back, and then see again the armor yeah. on the up smash is what allowed Inferno, aka Swagmaster, to get secure that kill from that down air that was that felt very unsafe. Like, it looks like Mario has a lot of lag in his moves, but it, it, he just doesn't. He doesn't know what lag means. I think except for, like, forward air. Like, trying to read the S-Max rolls. That's a very far roll. I just realized how, like, deep that was. Like, most characters would have fallen in that, like, F-Smash trying to roll into the stage. Instead of just going for this, like, stylish, like, down throw up there, he just went right for the, uh... He just goes for free damage and getting him out of his face. Yeah. Yeah. It's, 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 it's the most secure damage, not the best, but the most, I want to say guaranteed. Yeah, God. Both F smashes being safe, so safe that you can't punish it with itself. This character does have a weakness, is that character has very little answer to runaway tactics. Like, it ha like Mario's really good at like getting out of situations, but if you can never get him into the situation in the first place, it's where he falls. Unfortunately, Mario can't really... Back throw. That back throw's gonna take it. Inferno oh, taking that game one. Perfect. Trying to reorient myself with this, uh... This whole situation. How are you doing, stream? I know, I know some people here are active in the stream. I want to make sure that you guys are, uh, you know, comfortable. We can see everything that you're doing in the chat. You don't need to feel very, uh, very intimidated. Both these ways again, choosing to go with the fireball technique in the beginning, but neither one getting hit this time. Ooh. I expected the up throw down air. Because what the up throw down air does, you can uh, up throw, jump down air, jump forward air, and it's actually like this really cool follow up that you can go for it. I don't think it's, I'm not sure if it's guaranteed or not, but I see a lot of Mario's go for it, and it usually lands, even if it's sour spots. It's also surprising seeing this character being like really good for the first time in a Smash game. Yeah, right. Oh, Inferno getting the... So the one thing about him that still isn't too great is that recovery. That recovery is actually decent. Because you, can, you decent. can't challenge it is what it, the problem okay, is. Okay, yeah, that that's true. So it's very hard to gimp the character. But if you hit him far enough away, he will yes. struggle coming you, back. Yes, you have to hit him high. Because if he's low, he's just an up through anything you try. But you, you can't challenge the up from the front. From the back, you're kind of risking yourself getting like hit by a stray hitbox of that up And sometimes it's just not worth it. Yeah, that's it's, it's better to just read the character off the ledge. You're going to have a lot better success at doing something. Ooh, trying to read the up smash, but hits him before the hitbox comes out. He's that Nair as a little get off me tool, sending him decently far away. Usually that's a read the normal get up, but at that close range, you can just roll on on reaction. You're just kind of like, oh, he's doing this. Let me just roll away. Inferno going for these juggles, but 
doesn't fast fall, so he doesn't get a quite the full uh, effect of it. Oh, nice pivot good. grab. The fact that I didn't realize he did that until he already started pummeling. I'm surprised he survived that. A little bit, but now we know who, as he's at that percent where that would have killed. Like, there oh. we go. And Inferno taking game two, giving us a complete 2-0 set.